All right, guys, so we're over here at the oil change place. Good morning, hope you guys are doing well. That's what I'm doing here this beautiful Friday morning. Uh, unfortunately, we got about a dusting of snow on the ground, so it's really putting a damper on doing any cleanups today. So I thought I'd go do something productive, always something productive to do, right? Uh, or you could always be productive if you choose to be. Uh, so today I'm gonna get the plow on the truck, go bring it over to my place. Um, I'm going to get some Christmas decorations for the wife, and then right now I get the old change done. So I figured I'd take you guys with us. If you want to want to stick along for a little bit and see how the plow gets hooked up uh, over at my mom's, uh, our boss 92 DXT, we'll uh, take it take it with you guys. Um, one other thing I was going to say, thank you to all the support for the holiday sales on LaunchpreneurAcademy.com. Black Friday sales are going on. The promo code Motivated is 20% off, and that works on all contracts, bundles, postcards everything and if you want to get the whole ball of wax 20 percent off with promo code all in 20 and that is a 200 plus dollar savings which is incredible so thank you guys for the support a lot of you guys have been shopping this last 24 hours and uh, liz and i really appreciate you guys supporting our small business so let's go get the oil change really quick here and uh, i'll catch up with you guys here in a quick minute all right so we're at 48 260 here and the next one's gonna be 59.2 but they said the purple stuff is uh 8,000 miles let's go with that We just left the oil change place, 130 bucks. Man, getting up there these days. Um, what do you guys pay for an oil change these days? You guys do it on your own or do you guys take it to a shop? We did the, what is even, uh, I don't even know what I get anymore, man. Um, purple synthetic fuel filter change, or I'm sorry, oil, uh, oil filter change, uh, extra oil over five units. I don't know. What do you guys put into your uh, your trucks with the uh, the oil change? You guys go to a shop like that in and out. It took 15 minutes. Uh, our dealer down the road, uh, that I sometimes take it to, you have to drop the truck off for the day. And then it usually takes at least eight hours till you get a call at the end of the day to come pick up your truck. So that is not the most efficient. So I'd rather pay a, a premium for my time and get it done versus uh, not having the truck for the day and not being able to be productive otherwise. But all right, let's go pick up the plow and... Um, I don't know. This will be an interesting vlog because this could be the first snow of the weekend uh, or, or the season for 2022. They said one to three, so we shall see. All right, guys, so we are over here at my mom's. Had to get the plow controller out of the back seats. Uh, let me show you guys the boss plow. And uh, hey, if you guys didn't uh, watch one of our other videos on our Truck Talk Tuesday video where I was complaining about shopping for trucks, that uh, boss, I'm sorry, Western MVP three plow, we did end up giving it away. Uh, just a quick little follow up for some of you guys. We gave it to Zach Wildy. He's in, I think, Missouri. Uh, but because I can't get the second truck for another three to six months, the truck that we ordered, uh, I have no real interest in just sitting around on that voucher for a plow that we won from Troy Clog. So we just gifted it to Zach and hopefully he can go make some money with it now. And then honest answer is my local dealer is a boss dealer. So I might as well be rocking a boss DXT with the new truck later on next year. So Zach, hope you enjoy that. All right, here is the um, boss 92 DXT that we do have. She's showing a little bit of a sign of wear and tear, a little bit of flaking on the paint. New cutting edge uh, last year, 800 bucks for all of that, which is crazy. Uh, we actually got some new uh, light covers from Ballard Inc. I'll try to show you guys those in the next uh, couple videos just to cover up the lights, which is always helpful. So here is what we got going on. And uh, thankfully my mom was here, so I was able to line up the two brackets. Let's go uh, connect it really quick here. So we got the plow in float mode. I'm not perfectly lined up. I'm hoping that this will be able to connect with both, but let's connect the power and the uh, controller. Ours is tucked in here. Now, one thing I'll tell you guys straight up that I hate about our boss plow is the 13 pin connector controller. This thing is one of the worst ever with lining up. It never fits in correctly. I don't know if you guys have boss, if you guys can relate. There's power for the plow. And then here's our 13 pin. At least I think it's 13 pin. Uh, the teeth just kind of get a little bent, a little wonky in there. 
Make sure you guys add dielectric grease once in a while to keep the water moisture out. Uh, especially when you're trying to lock this in during a snowstorm or a clipper system comes through and you're trying to hook up the plow last minute, it can get kind of frustrating. And the reason it's frustrating, and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about, is you get 12 out of the pins in, but then it kind of bows on one side, and it's always tough to get that in there. <sighs> if you guys got any tips, let me know in the comments, because it's a recurring issue for me. Anytime I got to take the plow on and off, which I do quite a bit, so we're not hauling around town, you know, all winter long. By the way, a lot of you guys were asking about these Milwaukee gloves in our last video. Just the uh, brown leather here. These actually stay pretty warm. There's uh, some other ones I have that are fleece lined. I don't think these were those, uh, but these have done pretty well for us just to keep our hands warm and keep the chill off of our, our, our hands, right? I always say every year there's gotta be a better way to do this, but you guys can see the pin down here. It always kind of bows down. And I'm always stuck grabbing my keys to pop that pin down. My biggest fear is always breaking that pin off, you know? So if you guys got a better way to do this, let me know. Well, I think we might have got it. All right, I think we're good. Finally, I don't know, I just wish there was a different design for this because it is a little frustrating. So let's go make sure that the plow is still in float mode. Here's our controller. So double down for red is in float. And by the way, this just connects down here. Maybe you guys are new to plow and don't know that. I know I didn't, so I always appreciate helpful videos like this. If it's helping you guys, do me a big solid, big thumbs up. So we're in float mode. We want to put these into the lock position, right? And record. Okay. And hopefully both teeth uh, connect. The plow is not perfectly straight with the teeth, but. <laughs> oh, so we didn't get them. We're gonna push forward a little bit here. See if we can get that figured out. This pin is pushed through somehow. That's not supposed to look like that. There you go. That pin was all the way pushed in and this one was catching on the actual bracket. So let's try now. All right, so we got some victory there. You guys can see that the pin right there connects through. You just want to double check everything. Connected through, the pin's all the way pushed in. And uh, let's do a little uh, plow check. good there so two quick tips I'll give you guys is when you drop your plow down don't push it all the way against anything that you have going on your the back of your shop the end of a parking lot a curb or whatever because sometimes 
you have to push the truck into those brackets to kind of square it off, right? So if you drop it here and I could it shimmy the plow forward an extra inch or two, then you guys can see the different rust lines. Then you might run out of space and that could be a little frustrating. So we're all hooked up here. One thing too, once you have the plow on and in V plow mode, kick those wings out just a little bit because it'll give you some extra clearance when you're driving around town. Just having it up a little bit gives you an extra one or two inch of clearance so it's not dragging on the ground, especially when you hit potholes. Last thing, if you got a, at least what we have to do in our truck at least, is make sure that the switch, we aren't using the lights from the truck, we're using now the plow lights that are on top. These guys right here, all right? So now that switches over, at least on the Fords, from these lights, which are gonna be black on the plow, to these. While we're at it, let's do a little test here, make sure all of our lights are working. And if you guys want to get some quality lights, route one. So this is actually on its own upfitter. Some people ask if this reflects off the plow. Uh, it does not. Uh, you can see it on the plow, but when the plows drop down, you're good to go. One thing is we might have to adjust these up a little bit because over time, these are kind of pointing downward. Sure why that was off. Some electrical tape might be in order just to clean that up. So these lights do not reflect off the back of the plow. You can always adjust those up a little bit more. We got our side markers. We've got our up top light. And then we also have our rear lights. So this is the side and the back are on one upfitter switch. I think that's number uh, three. Up top is number two and the front grill lights are number one. That way we can adjust them accordingly. Oh, it is freezing cold, man. You can tell when I start slowing down out there because my words start slowing down and it is cold, man. Uh, so any which way, that's just a, a quick little vlog I got for you guys today. I'm gonna go pick up some Christmas supplies, got the oil changed, got the plow picked up, and uh, we'll see what happens with winter, uh, our first snowstorm hopefully for 2021 into 2022. Uh, one to three inches, I was talking to the guy at the oil change place, might be a dusting, we'll see what happens, and uh, I don't know, maybe Mike Bedell can weigh in if you watch the video the whole way through and let us know. What do you guys think we're gonna get? An inch, two inches of snow? We'll let you guys know on Sunday, Monday. Over and out, guys. Thanks again for watching. And don't forget to check out those holiday sales if you guys are interested in getting the 20% off uh, the whole ball of wax uh, or the rest of the training programs. I'll leave a link in the description. Appreciate the support. And uh, that's what I got for you guys this beautiful holiday weekend. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Got to spend some time with some friends and family. And we look forward to catching up with you guys on the next one.